Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indexes. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, October 28, 2020. For the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So, let's get to it. So, um, S&P 500 continues to fall. We uh, are trading now underneath the 50 moving average, meaning that the 50 moving average is no longer uh, support. It has become resistant. And we may fall significantly lower. If you look here, these are some of the biggest companies in the S&P 500. We have the Microsoft, we have Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google. They are around 15, 20% of this index. And they had a really good day today. And that basically means that everybody else had a very bad day today if we basically fell. So keep that in mind that if we have a turnaround tomorrow in these stocks, which is uh, very likely, if you look at the video that I did about the tech stocks, then some of these uh, companies are expected to fall quite significantly. For example, Google. It is way, way overbought at this point. The same goes for Facebook can also fall significantly. And that means that we will most likely see the S&P 500 continue to fall. Um, how far? Well, of course, we have the 100 moving average here at 3,305. And that will be the first place we'll look to. Um, it was previous um, support, but we have the low zero of 3,200. And uh, due to the fact that coronavirus is completely out of control, not just in the United States, but everywhere around the world. And if you look at the European indexes for today, they were significantly worse than the US indexes. So if things are getting really bad in Europe and everywhere else, that will affect the United States as well. It will come to the United States. It will affect uh, the United States um, stocks and this index as well. Um, should you short it? No. Never ever short these indexes because um, they are taking the built in order to go higher. So what you should do is basically buy at a discount. Wait until you see that it has reached significant support similar to this. See a, uh, see a uh, impressive bullish candlestick similar to this one. And that is basically your buying opportunity. There's no reason to buy when you're in a downtrend like this, that you'll basically make your account suffer for quite some time. Also, when you see technical indicators looking as basically damning as these are, and that you have an RSI that's only at 45 at this point, and we can be basically go significantly lower before we're oversold, then then you basically just stay away from this index at this point. It, you need an encouraging sign um, in order to buy into this index. It will go up in the long run, but at this point, we are going lower, most likely. MACD is, is, is a very bearish, same goes for RSI, same goes for the CCI, stochastic, and also Bollinger Band, we are all nearly at the bottom of the Bollinger Band, which is at 3,331. So no interest in buying at the moment, no interest in selling. This just patience to see where this is going to go. How far will it go? So look at the Jones. Very similar picture here. We are very close to the 100 moving average. We'll most like, and that will most likely be our uh, support, which is at uh, 27,260. After that, we need these technical indicators to turn around. We need a green candlestick similar to that one, which is uh, shows signs of, uh, of bullishness and encouragement in order to press this market higher. Will that happen? Only time will tell. Um, 
coronavirus is not going away anytime soon. Um, presidential election, uh, election is around the corner. Stimulus is most likely not going to come. So there's a lot of uncertainty, and that uncertainty is something that the markets don't like. It is is the worst thing for markets, basically uncertainty. The best thing to remark in the moment is to know that there is going to be continuous stimulus, which there which there is not going to be. Uh, we'll have um, a definite winner of the United States election next week, but we'll probably won't have that either. Will it most likely will be contested? Some say in the Supreme Court, maybe, and that will just add to the uncertainty in this market. And when you also have Indicators that look as dreadful as this expect this market to go lower. Uh, Stochastic has not turned around yet. MACD has not turned around. We are almost oversold um, and so on. So we may see uh, this, Mar this um, the Dow Jones test the, two, uh, 50, uh, the 100 moving average. Sorry. I don't expect it to go lower. I expect something similar to this uh, and then go higher probably up towards the 50 moving average and then just trade sideways. That's most likely what's going to happen, but you technically have to have an encouraging candle in order to buy into this market at this point. So the NASDAQ. NASDAQ rallied at the 50 moving average, um, but I would not be that um, bullish on the NASDAQ at this point because this is not a very impressive candlestick. This is a good candlestick. We rose almost you know, 1%, uh, but that is mainly due to these companies having a really good day, most of them. Not Netflix, but mostly other, other ones had a very good day, for example, Facebook. But Facebook and Google are set to fall quite substantially in the coming days, uh, especially Google, which is significantly overbought at this point. So that means that we may go lower, uh, significantly lower. Uh, I, I would love to buy this at the 100 moving average at 11,000. Um, it's also a very symbolic number at 11,000, which I think will attract a lot of uh, buyers if that were to happen. But uh, at this point, the technical indicators are not looking very good. MACD, bearish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is a little bit bullish, but Stochastic is really bear, uh, bearish, and so is the, Mac, uh, the Bollinger Band. We're not close to the bottom, but probably the, as far as we can go is 11,232 before we go to the upside. If we have a very, uh, we have a promising green candlestick here, that is a sign that we most likely will go to these highs of 12,200. And after that, to the highs of uh, 12,483. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the bell button and the like button. That really, really helps, especially the likes. So, good luck and thank you very much.